Hello, everyone. My name is Seok Jong Baek, and this is my pianist, Jiang Tao. We would like to start with Avant de Quitte from Faust Kuno. In this area, I'm Valentin, and I have a beautiful sister, but I'm uh, sad and worried about her because I'm just called off to the war. Uh, and uh, Actually, uh, if yeah. you phrase the sentence differently with a period, mm -hmm. that's all you need to say. Yes, it is. <laughs> Yes, it you know, mm -hmm. you're worried about the sister, mm -hmm. you feel compelled to go to war, yeah. and you know there's a lot of bad people in the world, and you're hoping that God will protect your sister as well as yourself in battle. We're done. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, may I start? Look, yeah. I think this is, mm -hmm. by the way, I'm not correct. This is, this part of what we do here, and I've become very convinced of that over the years, is extremely important because all of us get invited to the Rotary Club. You know, and you're going, to, you're going to stand in front of a lot of people who have no clue who you are, what you're doing, why you even do that, have never heard this. Yeah, yeah. So find your elevator pitch points for each aria. Two sentences. I don't care if it's the ring or le noce or avant de quitter ce lieu, whatever it is. You know, just get a couple. Of, it's about this, and I'm going to sing this for you. Introduce yourself and your pianist and get very used to doing that. Because quite frankly, how people accept you is, all, oh, that seems like a nice young man, which we obviously feel now, you know? <laughs> And all I want to say is that this microphone is rather omnidirectional. Don't get, you're not broadcasting. Yes. And do not sing into it. It just has to be unfortunately put there mm -hmm. to grasp what you're doing for the people that are watching us online. Mm -hmm. But it has no purpose to your life whatsoever. So just ignore it. Yes. All right. You want to do it again or you want to sing? May I start? Let's sing. <laughs>
Are you okay? I'm okay, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Are you nervous? No. Uh, sorry, though. Sorry, Why? <laughs> is, it, is the aria new? No, it's not new. Do you get, uh, it doesn't seem so, mm -hmm. do you feel nervous because there's people in front of you? Yeah, it's be the, it can be the reason that I'm nervous. It can be what? Yes. The reason that I'm nervous, yeah. yeah. Uh, and that I'm sitting here? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's a class <laughs> situation. Yes. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the least reason to be nervous. No, I'm interested about this because I think we all, we all have this facet. There's a very simple equation to that. It's not about them. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter whether they're sitting there or not. Don't sing to people. Don't think of approval. Don't think of, on any level, oh gosh, I hope they understand my words. I, yeah, what I, I've got well, to I've I've hit the marks. This is an aria and everybody knows it. Did I get the right? Hit? Don't sing to people. Yeah. Sing for people. They listen and enter the world you're in, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Including a teacher that's wanting to help you go down your path. My point is there's no reason to be nervous. Because you, you, know, you know who Valentin is, yes. and you certainly know how to sing. Mm -hmm. Okay? Yeah. So why be nervous? You think? Okay? Yeah. Don't come out and sing this direction. Mm -hmm. And the reason I'm saying that, one, I want to get that off my chest, why there's all colleagues, is I think it's a very important thing for you to learn as quickly as possible. And believe, don't learn it, know it, right? But in fact, we all tend to sing and do this. Well, okay, some of that is physical. I mean, if you see pictures of Caruso, he leaned like this. But if you notice, this knee was very dramatically forward and bent, right? That was yeah. sort of the old ah! kind of thing, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now, the reason why they did that was mainly because they wanted to keep the back straight. Mm -hmm. Because if you do this, you're going to tip the hips out, yeah. and you're going to roll the shoulders over. Mm -hmm. And if that happens, you got this, and the next thing inevitably is going to be this. And that all happens for one and only one physical, anatomical reason. Because you'll, and that is the following. The spine must be as long as it is built in your body. Yoga is your best friend. If you don't know where your spine is and how you're built and what it does and what parts down here and what parts up there and what goes out and so forth, get a book. There is a wonderful new book out about two years ago. I, I made a big thing about this in a class last summer at, at NATS, National Association of Teachers Singing. Oh, why don't we, we I need to build a companion of the, you know, how your body works. In fact, there is a book that's called, literally entitled, What Every Singer Should Know About Their Body. Now, there's, a, there's some weeds in there that maybe you don't need to know. But the idea that you sort of go, okay, I got, a, I got a question for you. How many people know how many keys are on, the, on a piano? How many, that don't, how many people that don't play the piano can raise your hand and say, know how many keys are on the, on the keyboard of a piano? Right? That's quite a few. Now, how many of you that don't sing can tell me how many ribs exactly you have in your body? How many people that sing can tell me exactly without equivocation how many ribs you have in your body? Let's start with the easy one. How many keys on the, t on the, sorry, I'm stepping on a mouse. How many keys on the, cl on the piano? 88. 88. We all know that. Berlin wrote a song about it. You know, everybody, you know, 88 keys. How many ribs? <laughs> Isn't that astounding? Isn't that astounding? Isn't that astounding? I tell you what, folks, I've been doing this for a while, and I don't ever go out on stage, or I'm never on stage, where I haven't have some thought about, oh, God, my back hurts, or my ribs won't go out, or I don't feel like I can hold it, all that kind of stuff, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. All right, you've got 12 pairs. They all independently, all 12, all 24 of them have one thing in common, only one thing. They go from your spine independently out this way. Do you mind if I touch you? Yeah. You, yes, you do mind. <laughs> yeah. May I, may I touch you? Yes, you can. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 
We're in a new world. <laughs> right? Your spine is here, right? Yeah. And your ribs go like this. Now, why is that interesting? Because the ribs come out around the body like this, and the strength of them is actually kind of on the sides and the back, mm -hmm. right? Because they come out and they do different things. We won't get into that right now, but the point is they're out here, right? And they're here. So we keep the spine straight so that the ribs can do what they're supposed to do. And you know, that might, that might be enough information. Yeah. I would like to go one step farther and clear out this confusion about what is support. It's very simple, very simple. Support for a singer is the healthy antagonism of balancing the feeling of inhaling with the action of exhaling. It, I've even said it too complicated. It's real simple. When you sing, think about inhaling because you're obviously going to be exhaling. And you'll keep this feeling here, right? Mm -hmm. Now, if you sing to people, or you're nervous about presenting it, or you think that high note is over there, or the low note, all of that stuff that you're doing, as subtle as you do, you have a wonderful posture, but even, you know what I'm talking about, yeah. any of this stuff pulls you out of that place you are, the strength of your body, the spine, mm -hmm. so that the ribs can stay out while you're letting everything else function. So when you sang the last phrase, you stepped back mm -hmm. and your body gave completely, completely a line and you went, it was one of the best phrases of the whole aria. It was fantastic. It's a tough mm -hmm. ending. And you backed up by instinct. I want to reinforce that. Mm -hmm. This feeling of expanse and straightness is exactly what you want. Mm -hmm. What you also do that you need to be very careful of, and this is, the, this is one of the alpha and omegas of singing, period. Your body, even if you're on stage, what you're doing physically is, is one decision. But because you're singing, singing something gentle or, or even sentimental, we don't weaken our apparatus. We don't, you know, my, sh my dear sweet sister is going to be, you know, please, please be careful, you know. Im wunderschönen Monat Mai, you know. Ich grolle nicht auf in das Herz. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. We never give away the center of our, of our strength, yeah. right? So don't get weak when you sing a, a sweet phrase, you know. Yeah. By the way, I think the middle section, it just says più animato. Mm -hmm. And there's no actual... There's, that doesn't even say return to Temple Primo, the Temple Primo comes a bit later. I wouldn't get quite so hectic. Just get strong about it. You've had your... And what we're doing is just, we're just trading themes out. Becomes... Doesn't really, it just changes clothes, you know? And you'll be able to sing it better, otherwise you tend to get attack it. Yeah, Let's yeah. just start it again. Mm -hmm. Let's, can we just start the aria? Yep. Wonderful recitative, actually. Okay. Don't move. Don't move. Stop. Don't move. Where's your energy and where's your weight? My lower back. But which side? If it, well, I don't think so. As you started to sing, you took a breath and you went okay. off your feet. Actually, as, as strong, I mean, you've got a good posture, but if I'm standing on the set, I could see you move like okay. this, you know? It's okay. not about, it's not the fact that you moved. Don't misunderstand me. Mm -hmm. But if you, if, you, if you list to one side or you're not, you're no longer in your feet, then you're on, you've built a house of clay, yeah. right? Yeah. And that first line needs... Right? Mm -hmm. And you want to breathe just into that yes. and make that hearable. Stay in your feet. Yeah. Right? Don't. Okay, one more time. Yum, bum, 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 bum. Nope. You bent forward. Stop. You feel that? Yeah. I promise you it's subtle, but I, you're going to love it when it comes to get. You're going you're gonna, to. I never knew that that small of a thing could have that much difference. Do one more time. And I'll just help a little bit. Now, J 
just sing the vowels. And let the consonants just connect them. Do you hear? Start it with a desu. Here we go. Just like that, now let the uh, consonants come where they come. Don't worry about them, and sing the consonants as well. Uh, Sorry? Play the intro. Yum, bum, bum, bum. Breathe. Nose. Okay. The thing is, it's an ascending phrase. It's a little bit light. I'm not, uh, I think you can start softer, mm -hmm. which is easier to make that first up bow. Mm -hmm. uh, because what I hear is, Avant. If I have all of that here, what am I going to do up there? Yeah, it's just going to get demonstrative. It's going to get big, bigger than need. What you, what you want to concentrate on is this gesture of parting that is in the music. Right? That's where we're going, in waves. So don't give it away. Is this, is this, sorry, is this more comfortable? Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. It's more work. I want you to sweat and, and be on, I don't, the work is fine, but I want your voice to be more comfortable. Yeah. The only thing I would suggest to you is that when you take a breath, take a breath that is only about what you're going to sing. Breath is not gasoline for the car. Mm -hmm. We don't tank up. I'm now gonna sing a long phrase up the scale. We take in the breath that says, avant de quitter ces lieux, now I have a lot of breath because I've gotten really something to say. Ah, toi, Seigneur! Right? But I only take a breath for the meaning of the phrase, just like we do when we speak. Yeah. Yeah. Right? So don't gulp. The problem is that when we take a breath that goes <gasps> like this, we shove the larynx down, and it's no longer ready to be mm -hmm. like this. You have a beautiful voice, and everything that you have on the top of your voice should work down into your voice. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. And always should be beautiful. It's mm -hmm. really quite wonderful. Okay, one more time. What terrific, terrific, terrific. One more time, and when you get to I'm hearing de ki. Go right through it. Avant. There's no ending to the nasalization. It's just an all. Avant. All the same resonance. Mm -hmm. Just go right through it, just like you did when you want to sing the vowels. Avant. Yes. Now think, inhaling on the next phrase. Only think of inhaling. Inhale, inhale. from that phrase, which is quite wonderful, and that's, and that's obviously the money phrase, and we all sweat bullets on that and whatever else, you know. Oh, sir. oh thank God. Je no. <laughs> right? Yes. Keep it in the same resonance. This, the primary difference between singing and speaking is that when we sing, every vowel we sing yeah. has every other vowel in it, and we can, the resonance stays constant. Yeah. Is C and N. Mm -hmm. We don't do that. Yeah. Is this, isn't it easier? Yeah, it's easier? Oh, come on. And it's more understandable. Mm -hmm. By the way, when we speak, we separate consonants, and which ones at what speed gives us the language? Okay. Even in your mother tongue, Right? You have a lot of vowels. Mm -hmm. what, what you inflect in vowels and change the meaning just by the sound of the vowels is something that we barely hear. It's an incredible thing, mm -hmm. right? In 
Slavic languages, of which English is part of that great big tree, the vowels are rather constant, whether Italian, Russian, Czech, Hebrew, English, French, Italian, right? I-O. And what we do is just care for that same resonance in those vowels, and then we put the consonants where they belong, and it sounds like the language we're singing in. Mm -hmm. Right? Yeah. That makes sense? It makes sense. Good. Go on. Uh, yeah. Well, no, no. Go back a phrase before that. Go back a phrase before that. I'm going to make you sing that G again, just because it's so beautiful. Oh, start the whole damn thing again. <laughs> Sorry. Hang on. That was, you, you're too smart and too quick. Take your time. Look at the page. Hear it before you play it. Same thing for you. You're playing a wonderful accompaniment. Make sure that this is not a song. Mm -hmm. What you're playing on the piano is, a, is an orchestral reduction, yeah. right? And do you know the orchestration? Do you know who, what's playing, the instruments? What is, what is playing the yum, bum, 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 bum? Forget. Yeah, okay. <laughs> That's the point, right? Yeah. Right? It's, it's actually the winds. <laughs> and he's got, cellos in, he's got cellos in the bass line. Not to digress, this is actually not original to the opera. This was cobbled from the overture because when the piece, enormously famous as it was, went to England the first time, Sir Charles Stantley, one of the great singers, baritones, and pedagogues of that era, said, well, lovely to take part, but there's no aria, is there? <laughs> well, without an aria, it's terribly sorry, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> so Gounod said, well, I've got this lovely tune. <laughs> let, let me see what I can get, you know? So on Friday, by fax, of course, came this wonderful aria. And said, ah, well, we'll just put it, we can just slip it right into those two bits of rich to tea. Right? <laughs> and by the way, it was in English. <laughs> All right, so, instrumentation. <laughs> but the, what you play very well is the, is, the, is the bass harmony of this piece. You've got, especially in the big one, it gets big. You've got wonderful stability in those defending. This is important for opera. That's what we hang our hat on on stage, right? One more time. Sustain to the keys. Bam, bam, mm -mm. Ya, da, 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 da. Sorry to be a pain because if you get this, you will, it'll be the rest of your life. Yeah. I, do that. There you go. Now, do you feel when you breathe that that expands? Mm -hmm. Keep it. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. I'm not going in. I'm not going like this, right? Yeah. This is what I mean by keep this. Mm -hmm. And that gives you the stability, right? You're on a great track, trust it. I, it it's gonna go like this, you're gonna go, I get it. Oh, sorry, without the consonants. Keep, keep lifting. Keep, don't sink into your body. Mm -hmm. There's nothing about getting low. Yeah. Stay low mm -hmm. and stay in it. Now just add those consonants and don't interrupt that vowel resonance. <laughs> now with consonants. You're doing ande, ande, avande, vande. There's no ang in it. This is French, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Now with accompaniment, I can sing all of the aria now, like that. Teach yourself the rest of it, mm -hmm. and have fun. It's mm -hmm. easier. Whee! Way up there. <laughs> Sorry, there's a, there's, a, there's a little bit more inertia. Do you know what the word inertia is? Inertia means inevitability. It means it's not going to stop. So I applaud you playing the bum, 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 but not too much. The point is a yum, bum, 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 whether he comes in or not, you keep that going. Dum, bum, 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 he'll come in here. Dum, bum, 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 right? So we just keep that. I just need a little bit more weight here. 
Wom, wom, bom, 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 bom. Or this way. There you go. Stand up. Stand up. Lift, 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 lift. Yes. All the same resonance, right? Is this easier? Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, it's just flowing out like crazy. Also, it sounds like the languages. I understand you better. Mm -hmm. I happen to know this already very well. Right? <laughs> right? You know what I mean? It's more work. When I keep yelling at you to stand up, it's because you tend to go like this. Uh -huh. You know? And you're, you're such a polite young man. Get rid of that. You're in America now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're on a great path. This is one of the most beautiful lyric baritones I've heard in a while. Good stuff. Good, good stuff. Go on. And by the way, this, all this feeling of saying, oh, my sister, she's so sweet, that's nonsense. You are a military man, mm -hmm. and you are actually demanding of God to take care of your sister because you are going to war as God's will. All right, I'll make you a deal. You take care of her because she's more important to me down here. I don't care if I live or die. I understand that, I get that. I'm doing your will, I'm gonna go kill a bunch of people because you told me to. <laughs> <laughs> yes, he's that screwed up, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> <laughs> So, so now you know we're all guys, you know the pitch, you know what we're going to do. Breathe into what you want to sing. Mm -hmm. Don't, yeah. uh -huh. and don't sing, hear what you're going to sing. We make our thoughts audible. We okay. don't sing text. Oh, that's a very good, somebody write that down and mail it to me. <laughs> it, that's not a bad idea, you know? That's just not a bad idea. Yes. So I got to stop you because I want to ask you, is that not easier? It's easier. It's easier. Is it really sinned? Is it no more beautiful? Did you hear all of us pedagogues, you hear how even the voice was? We're home free, folks. This is vocalism. Yeah. And this vocalism is what transports the emotional context of that character. And I don't care whether he's on a bicycle or he's got a sword or a gun or whatever else he's got. It. That's somebody else's decision. The character is transported by the vocalism. And the vocalism is born in the vowels. That's how language works. And that's why singing mm -hmm. is this thing beyond all of us. We all go, wow, what was that? Something just hit me like a ton of bricks. Or we have viscerally negative feelings. Oh, no, that voice, God, just make her stop. All right? Okay. Hear it, breathe into it, and sing it. Good. Stand up. Now easy. Now you're in my world. Okay, now but the thing is, now sing as legato as you have been singing, but with a new rhythm. No. Right? Say legato, yeah. but you have a new rhythm. And this new rhythm, this little middle section, as short as it is, this is Valentin's world. It's like he was trying to be nice about it, but really what I'm talking about is this. Yeah? Okay. And don't bounce it. They got this sississimo, but the right rhythm. So give them the, give them the weed just to... Okay. 
triste paseia, girei sus la gloire, la gloire os des ennemis. Not forward, back. Left. Le plus bravo, corps de la mairie. Gire le combat, le pour mon pays. Now this is the next fun bit. Try and keep that rhythm going, but you just change partners you're talking to. That was all for God and public and country, and here we go, right? We go to the minor key very quickly and very short, a very short time, right? Keep it legatississimo. Is this not easier? It's easier. It's so much more interesting for us, yeah. right? Make that key change. Uh, uh, let's go back to You're still too fast. What is it? I see Valui. I see Valui, Dieu me rappelle. Yeah. No, that's, a, that's, a, that's a gulp. Only bring it, breathe into the phrase. And higher, breathe behind your nose. Yes. The only thing, only issue, the only thing I want to leave you with to think about is don't let those E vowels fall forward or get short. Mm -hmm. Work on the E that it stays. Oh, my wonderful girl, your best friend, Gerita. Right? So one more time, just that phrase. Oh. Start the phrase. Stand on it. Don't lean forward. In your feet. Good. You're young and brave, and you've got all the. But if I hear you saying, oh, that's on the flesh. I don't agree with it. Your ah, all those upper ahs are more wedded to the resonance room of the de or the sieu. That's where you want those to go. Mm -hmm. But if you go up like you're young and strong and you get away with it, but some point not too far away, mm -hmm. it's not going to work like that. Yeah. And it makes your voice tired. <laughs> Okay. Just breathe into the sentence you're going to sing and start there. Yes. Just at vowels. You're stopping the vowels. Clap, don't clap. Did you notice how you finished the note? Yeah. yeah, but I'm sorry. When you move off and you go front like this and you finish the aria like that, you're actually telling me mm -hmm. that it was about you. When you've actually taken us on quite a wonderful journey. Mm -hmm. Stay there. Stay. It's not about just staying. I don't want to tell you to do something. I want to tell you to stay in the character. Mm -hmm. The reason why you sang is not because you've got a beautiful voice. Your beautiful voice makes what you sang viscerally important to us, mm -hmm. even if we don't like Valentin, right? Yeah. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. I do. You're very talented. How old are you? I'm 28. Years. 28. Well, you're wonderful. <laughs> Anybody who has the remotest idea that this boy with this wonderful top should be thinking about being a tenor has me to reckon with. <laughs> yeah? You are a wonderful lyric baritone. Stay mm -hmm. on this path. Okay. Bravo, bravo. Thank you very much. Wonderful. Well done. Well done. <laughs> with a, a